So here's an example with for Napier's method. So that box method that I was showing you. So let's say I had x minus 2 times x plus 3. So on the side of my paper, I'd have like a little rough page, right? And then I would write, I would write, I make a box. And so since there are four terms, I'm going to make sure that there's exactly four spots in on my box, right? I kind of extend it out here. The first, the first part of the equation, x minus 2, I'm going to write like this, x and minus 2. As for the second portion, the second bracket, I'm going to put that on the top. So I got x, and I'm going to put plus 3. And notice the plus 3 is inside the column for which I'm going to do my multiplication. So now, here's what we do. When you do this, you always make sure that your x's are first and then your constants are to the right. And then if you have longer things, just make sure that the higher powers of x are going from the left to right. So x squared, then x, then x, then whatever. So now, if I have x times x, I've got x squared. And if I have x times 3, I've got 3x. If I have negative 2 times x, I've got minus 2x. And then I have negative 2 times b positive 3 is negative 6. Now, the reason why we do this is because when we do, when we go and create the rest of this problem, i.e. the final answer, we read diagonally. So I start from the top corner. So now, when I start from the top corner, the only thing that's in the top corner is x squared. So that's what my first value is. Then I have to add up all the things down the diagonal. Okay, so in this diagonal I have 3 and minus 2. So 3 and minus 2 is positive 1x. And then for the last diagonal, minus 6, I just put it at the end. That's it. And you can do this for even more difficult problems. I'll show you. Here's another example. So I have 2x plus 3 and 4x minus 6. So what we do is we go over to the side and we write rough. And you'll notice we've got four quanti we've got four spots. So we're going to make a box that has, well, uh, 2x plus 3 along the side. And then on the top, I'm going to have 4x minus 6. And then I split my box up to hold the multiplications of each of those things. So I have 2x times 4x is 8x, but there's two x's, so it's x squared. So I have 2x times negative 6. So 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, and then x is left over, so we got x. Do the same thing for three, positive 3 and 4x, and you get positive 12x. Positive 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. So now we just write our final solution. And remember, we're reading along the diagonals for each part. And the diagonals in each part are the things that you add up. So, for example, the only thing in the 8x squared diagonal is 8x squared. The two things inside the diagonal going down the middle is negative 12x and positive 12x. Oh, jeez, that's just zero. So I could just put plus 0x or nothing, and then minus 18. And guess what? We are done. Now, the most difficult type of problem will be something like this. So imagine you have something like this where you don't have matching terms all the way through, but you have all your powers organized from left to right. Here's what you do. Make sure that you make up your rough exactly as you see it. So I'll still do the 3x and I'll put plus 2 for the second row. And then I will make 
individual places for each of the second brackets. So I got x squared plus 4x and minus 3. And so now, and so now we'll do the bottom portion of our chart. So we're going to get, well, 2x squared and then plus 8x and then minus 6. So now, just like before, we read along the diagonal. So in our first diagonal, we just have 3x squared. Then in our second diagonal, because we've done it the way I showed you, all the stuff in the diagonal just needs to be added because they are all like terms. They are all similar. So we have x squareds in there, so we just add them all up. So we got 12x plus 2x is 14 x squared and then we read along the x diagonal which will be negative 9 plus 8 which is minus 1x and then finally we get our final answer of minus 6 in our final diagonal and we're done that's it so now go forth and do multiplication